Qatar Goodwood Festival, and they're off. And Arian Power got away to a bright start on the outside. Uh, Mr. Excellency, though, is the one that goes on in the green jacket, worn by Holly Dorr. Pure bubbles, out wide, fast steps, is living up to his name in the early stages and goes right up and possibly the overall leader now from Mr. Excellency. Uh, pure bubbles in the red, white sleeves, Forest Falcon, and then behind those on the running rail is Tara Shot, Patient Dream, and back in the field to Carter. And then Al Fardell, King Frankel and Dingle. And after quite a bright start, Arian Power has dropped to, dropped to the rear of the field as they climb, climbing through the first four and a half furlongs or so over this uh, mile and a quarter. And it's fast steps on the outside of Mr. Excellency, followed by Forrest Falcon. Tara Shock's on the inside, then Pure Bubbles. A length and a half to Patient Dream in the light blue cap on the inside, the, the black capped Carter. Then Al Fardell as they run right handed. Dingle is caught a bit wide from King Frankel and Arian Power spotting the leaders a good 10 or 12 lengths as they run down the hill towards the final right hander. And then they'll be heading for home. And up ahead, Mr. Excellency. Excellency on the outside of, uh, of him is Fast Steps and these two matching strides, followed by Forrest Falcon. Tara Shock is now rustled up on the inside. Behind Tara Shock is uh, Carter. Patient Dream is there. Alpha Dell moving well on the right in the blue and white stripe cap. There, followed by King Frankel. Switch to the far running rail on the extreme left and making ground now is Arian Power and Sylvester getting through there. An open looking race. Al Fardell sweeping down the outside of Patient Dream. Carter in the black cap, chased by Arian Power on the far rail, and then Forrest Falcon and Fast Steps as they enter the final furlong. It's still just Carter, the leader. Alpha Dell's effort is just flattening out Arian Power on the far side. Carter sticking on well here for William Buick as they race up towards the line, and the further the race goes on, the further that Carter is going to win by. Carter scores a good four lengths, tight for second, a bob of the heads between Alpha Dell on the near side of Arian Power, and then close for fourth two between Patient Dream and Forest Falcon. And uh, they're away. Asymmetric jumped out fairly well, but Katura on the outside probably just leads early. Kunan, there's not a lot of pace through the first furlong. Giza Sub in the noseband is keen, just second now, ahead of Kunan. Then Asymmetric from by Gabas, and then on the outside, Ebro River and Perfect Power. And uh, for a six furlong two rod race, they rather crawled through the first furlong and a half here. And it's Katura that leads the way through passing the half mile marker Kunan is second and then Giza Sub in that noseband Ebro River asymmetric in behind them in the white jacket Gabas in maroon with the golden stars and at the back is perfect power as they race on now towards the final two and a half furlongs just inside that now and it's Katura from Kunan and there followed by Giza Sub out wide of these Ebro River Gabas is now beginning a run asymmetric in behind runners and perfect power as they run on down towards the final Final furlong, Kunan, just about the leader from Gizzas up. Here's Asymmetric now, bursting through in the white jacket as they race up inside the final furlong. And Asymmetric picking up really well from Kunan, out wide Gabas, and then Ebro River. Asymmetric, Gabas tries to go with him. Asymmetric goes one better than Newmarket. What a fine turn of foot. Gabas second. Tight for the minors. Kunan on the near side, far side, perfect power. And Ebro River close up as well. They jump away, racing uphill through the first furlong and a half or so. Ottoman Emperor is ridden to go very handy and goes into an early lead along with Wordsworth on his inside. Wordsworth now from Ottoman Emperor. And they're followed by Alias in the third position on the outside of Third Realm in the yellow black spotted jacket. You spirit back on the inside of Yabir for Godolphin and the last two, Bellocchio the Grey and finally Salukan. So rounding this turn, and soon they'll be levelling off into the back straight, and Wordsworth, risen, ridden positively here by Ryan Moore, leads by a half-length to Ottoman Emperor, third realm, and Andrea Azzini on the inside of Alias, then Youth Spirit on the inner of Yabir, who's taking quite a keen hold, Yabir, and then a couple of lengths to Bellocchio, and finally Salukan running against the outside running rail as they make their way now towards an uphill run 
and on towards the top turn and Wordsworth looks to be setting a pretty brisk pace here Ottoman Emperor in second in third is Third Realm then on the outside is Alias You Spirit and Yabir now both going up the inside Bellocho and Salukan they're pretty well grouped together as they race on now and head towards the six furlong marker Wordsworth narrowly from fellow Irish raider Ottoman Emperor Yabir has slipped up the inside of Third Realm followed by Alias You Spirit further back then Bellocchio and Red Lucan towards the outside. Little more than six cents would cover them. And Yabir now nips around the inside of Wordsworth as well. Yabir taking it up in the hands of William Buick from Wordsworth. Then Ottoman Emperor. Third Realm is back in fourth. Followed by Alias on the outside of Youth Spirit. Bellocchio and still no move from Salukan at the back of the field. They head on now towards the final three and a half furlongs in this John Pierce Racing Gordon Stakes. Yabir on the left of the White Blaze Wordsworth, Ottoman Emperor, Third Realm in the Yellow Jacket, then behind these Youth Spirit and Alias, and then Salukan who's still travelling quite well behind Bellocchio as they run down towards the final quarter mile, looking an open race, Ottoman Emperor with Wordsworth, Yabir Farside, Third Realm is trying to stay on and grab a, a part of the spoils, in behind them running on well is Youth Spirit and Salukan now asked a question, it's Ottoman Emperor that took it up, entering the final furlong, goes two lengths clear, Third Realm third realm, youth spirit Saluka now with a much delayed run down the outside from Wordsworth Ottoman Emperor from Saluka who's gaining all the way, Ottoman Emperor is going to hold on from Saluka to win the Gordon tight for the minors, third realm on the near side of youth spirit and far side Wordsworth and they're away Lady Bothorpe jumped out alertly and Kieran Schumark wants to take her back. And Empress Josephine and Joan of Arc, the two Aidan O'Brien runners, are the first two in the early stages, followed by Zayada in third technique, then Lady Bothorpe now back in fifth place, and Ordara settles in last in the hands of William Buick. They're fairly well strung out in the early stages, and Joan of Arc now gallops on into a two-and-a-half, three-length lead from stable companion Empress Josephine. Zayada is handy in the blue and white jacket. Then in fourth is Technique, followed by Lady Bothorpe, and lastly, Ordaria. So continuing their journey, about to run uphill, and it's the Prix de Diane winner, Joan of Arc, ridden from the front here by Ryan Moore. By a couple of lengths or so to Zayada and Jim Crowley on the outside of Empress Josephine and Frankie de Tori. Kieran Schumach in the orange cap on Lady Bothorpe. Technique on the inside, Tom Marquand and William Buick at the back aboard Ordaria. About to swing round the top turn into the home straight. And Joan of Arc still out in front. Maybe just slackening off the pace a little. A length and a half to Zayada. Empress Josephine. Then Lady Bothorpe. Technique on the inside. And Ordaria being held up right at the back for a late pounce as they run down towards this final little right-hander and Joan of Arc stretching on by a length and a half, Zayada covering the move, followed by Empress Josephine, Lady Bothorpe travels well in behind these from Technique at the cutaway and Ordari at the back, an intriguing race up the home straight, Joan of Arc just nudged along in the lead here Zayada is cruising up in second, Lady Bothorpe poised then Empress Josephine, Ordari now asks a question, then Technique, Joan of Arc, Zayada Lady Bothorpe out wide Ordaria a full on a half left to cover Lady Bothorpe now comes through with her challenge on the outside of Zayada and Joan of Arc as they run inside the final furlong Lady Bothorpe on the near side of Zayada and Joan of Arc as they race up towards the line and Lady Bothorpe goes on her ladyship gets her group one in the Nassau Lady Bothorpe has won it Kieran Schumann punches the air salutes the crowd Zayada, Joan of Arc, technique or Daria and lastly Empress Josephine and away they go and beginning well Highland Premier with favourite child in the pink cat these two are the early leaders with blue collar lad handy and Javon towards the inside of Ard Bracken Robasta is close up as one in black sleeves orange body towards the outside then blue collar lad Bastogne is caught out wide in maroon sleeves and a maroon cap all born is nearer the inside right round the inside south Audley already gone is pushed along towards the rear of the field Mayfair strolls right out the back with white feathers fall running on now turning right handed towards the home turn 
and it's Highland Premier with favourite char for company. Robasta is close up in third. Adjuvant towards the inside Yellow Jacket. Then behind these is Art Bracken as one and on the outside Bastogne. Then in behind them is South Audley trying to plot a way through. Further back to Blue Collar Lad on the inside is already gone and then pulled to the outside Mayfair Stroll and out the back White Feathers fall. Highland Premier under pressure and favourite child and Robasta coming hard as is adjuvant as well and down the outside as one with a chance and Art Bracken is looking for racing room and now forced to switch wide where Bastogne's running on as well a very open race as one's just doing best though in the black seas from Adjuvant out very wide Mayfair stroll blue collar lad coming home well with Bastogne as one's just gonna cling on here from blue collar lad on the near side of Bastogne fighting it out for second then Mayfair stroll are Bracken Adjuvant on the inside and all born out wider and they're off for this uh, Tatler EBF Maiden Philly Stakes. Susie's shoes was slow to break out. Shout out, not that good either. Proud Fairy dropping in behind in a pink jacket towards the four Brazilian Beach with Luna Queen. Luna Queen goes on from Brazilian Beach. Helena Handy in the red jacket on the inside. Bellhaven in the beige cap. Up the inside is Wilderness Girl, light blue. The red cap worn by William Buick from uh, just... Uh, in front of Silverdale and then Rouge et Noir ISML is driven along typewriter is a little bit uh, better than midfield possibly from Aurelia Gold in the purple and yellow towards the outside then Proud Fairy Vintage Fashion and Shout Out well down so too Breezy Storm and also Susie's Shoes who was so slow to get away and Kingdom Girl is last of all as they head down the home run on the right red and green jacket Helena coming through to challenge Brazilian Beach then uh, Luna Queen towards the left and further left is Wilderness Girl with every chance from there. They're followed by Bellhaven Rouge et Noir with a bit of white down the face is coming on a little bit out. Very wide Aurelia Gold. Then Silverdale. It's Wilderness Girl and Brazilian Beach chased by Helena. And then Luna Queen on the far side. Silverdale is sticking on. Then Bellhaven as they race inside the final furlong. Wilderness Girl and Brazilian Beach. Wilderness Girl is holding Brazilian Beach at the moment as they race up towards the line. And Wilderness Girl confirming the potential of a debut at Newmarket goes on to win. From Brazilian Beach, Silverdale in third and typewriter staying on in fourth. They're ready. The Whirlpool handicap and away they jump. Fantasy Master didn't get the best of it. Twilight Calls is also towards the rear in the very early strides. Rebel at Dawn is burning away as they race through the first furlong with Digital down the centre. First company on the near side in the purple cap. Uh, they're chased then by When the Dealing's Done and Show Along is on the right as well followed by Nelson Gay. Towards the left, uh, a pint of bear in the striped jacket showing speed from Nomadic Empire. Fantasy Master. Mooka's on the extreme left. Isle of Lismore getting a nice toe into the race. Goes well. So too does Twilight Calls, Red White Sash, Blue Cap, and then Show Along. Inside the final two furlongs, Digital Rebel at Dawn, a pint of bear. Isle of Lismore now coming through Airman as well, and Twilight Calls, who's travelled well inside the final furlong. Digital from a pint of bear. Here comes Twilight uh, Calls, and also on the near side, when the dealing's done. When the dealing's done, takes it up now from a pint of bear, and then Digital, and when the dealing's done, has gone, has done the job well. Wins by a length and a half, two in second, a pint of bear digital on the near side far side airman running on well twilight calls in amongst them but didn't really pick up